start with sum number 2, 1. So here, as you can see, we have been given a polynomial that is 5x square minus 6x. Why this is polynomial? Because it has more than one term. 5x square is a term and 6x is another term, which you are going to divide by 3x. First, before the division sign, whatever things you have, you need to write in the numerator because this is the dividend and this dividend you are going to divide it by 3x. So you are going to write this in the denominator. The next step, what you are going to do is you need to write the first term that is 5x square. First, you are going to divide this 5x square by 3x. Next, we have the separator minus, so write as it is. Next term is 6x. That one also you are going to divide it by 3x. Now, let us start with the cancellation. Here we have 5 and 3 in the denominator. No ACF. X will cancel with 2x in the numerator. And as you can see, 3 was a 3. 3 2 a 6. This will be cancelled. 1x and here 1x will be cancelled. Now, you will rewrite the answer. So, here we will get 5 by 3x minus as the separator and we have 2 here. So, this is our final answer. Method 2, what you are going to do is you just check the numerator. What is common in these two terms? As you can see, x is common in both the terms. So, take x as the common factor. You will be left with 5x in the first term. And in the second term, as you have taken out x, so only 6 will be left over here. And write 3x as it is. Now, check if you cancel the numerator with the denominator or not. As you can see here, x and x will be cancelled. And similarly, you are going to write your final answer as 5x minus 6 divided by 3. Let us start with the next sum. As you can see, we are going to divide the polynomial that is 3y to the power 8 minus 4y to the power 6 plus 5y to the power 4 by the monomial that is y to the power 4. Now what you are going to do is, as you can see in the numerator, in the terms, the constant are 3, 4 and 5 respectively and the ACF of 3, 4 and 5 is 1. So you cannot take the number as common. Now as you can see, we have y to the power 8, y to the power 6 and y to the power 4. That means y to the power 4 is there in each and every term because the power of y is 4 minimum in all the terms. So take y to the power 4 common. So here you will be left with 3 as the number you have taken y to the power 4. means 4y out of 8 you have taken. taken. So 4 are left. 8 minus 4 is 4. Minus you have 4 here. Now as you can see, there was y to the power 6 means 6 power of y. You have taken 4. So 6 minus 4 you will get here 2. Plus, we have 5. 5y five to the power 4. You have taken the exact y to the power 4, so you are not left with the variable y. You will close the bracket. So, this one you are going to divide by y to the power 4, as it was given in the question. Now, we will see whether you can cancel the numerator by the denominator or not. We have y to the power 4 here, also y to the power 4, so this will cancel. And your final answer will be 3y to the power 4 minus 4y to the power square plus 5. Let us start with the next sum. As you can see, you are going to divide this particular dividend by 4x square, y square, z square. So, how you are going to divide? Before dividing, we will see whether you can take common from the terms given here. As you can see, minimum we have x to the power square in each of the terms. We have y to the power square as well in the each terms. And we have z to the power square in each term. So we can take this common. By doing this, you can see in the first term, you will be left with a single x. In the second term, you will be left with a single y. Plus, in the third term, you will be left with a z. So close the bracket. Now, let us start with the cancellation. Here, as you can see, 4, 2, 8. So you can cancel this one. Here we have x square, x square will get cancelled. Here y square, y square will get cancelled. Here z square and z square will get cancelled. So as a result, you will be left with 2 multiplied by within the bracket x plus y plus z. This is our final answer here. Let us start with the next sum. As you can see, in the numerator or in the dividend, we have 3 terms. One is x cube. Next one is 2x square plus 3x. That means more than one term that is polynomial is given in the dividend. We are going to divide it by a monomial that is one term. Now how you are going to proceed? Now in the numerator you will find out whether we have anything common. As you can see we have x common in all the three terms. So take it as common you will left with x squared in the first term because out of 3x you have taken out one. Next we have two you will write as it is. Out of x to the power square you have taken a single x. So x squared minus one you will be left with 2x. Plus you are left with the number three but here we have taken exactly x so no x term is left over here. You are going to divide it by 2x. Now after taking common you can see that you can cancel out this x in the multiplication with this x in the division. So here you will left with 1 by 2 as the constant you multiplied by x square plus 2x plus 3 as our final answer. Let us start with the next term. As you can see, you are going to divide this polynomial with the monomial that is p cube, q cube. So here as you can see, we have two terms in the numerator. In both the terms, as you can see, the power of p minimum is p to the power cube. So we are taking it as common. And the power of q is cube in both the terms minimum. So we can take it common. So in the first term, as we have taken p to the power cube, and it was p to the power cube, so no terms of p is left. But q, there was 6 but you have taken 3, so 6 minus 3, you will be left with 3 terms of cube. Minus, here as you can see, we have p to the power 6, you have taken p to the power cube. That means p to the power 6 minus 3, that is 3 will be left. But in case of q, you have taken the whole q to the power q, so no q to the power thing will be left. Divided by, we have p to the power q, q to the power q. After this, as you can see, in the numerator, in multiplication, we have p to the power q, q to the power q, which can be cancelled with the denominator, that is p to the power q, q to the power q. So our final answer will be q to the power q minus p to the power q.